is up guys? It's the Humanoid Freak coming at you. It's time for a 90s tag. Why? Because I'm nostalgic for the 90s. I can't get enough of it. That's all I'm gonna say. Also, it's like 4.30 right now. and Already it's starting to get dark. That's what sucks about living here. Darkness starts really early, most because of daylight savings time from quite a while back. But still, it gets too dark around 4.30 and it's kind of depressing, but not really. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to be listing off the 90s tag and I'm going to be reading it off the computer just to let you know. Because I'm old school like that. So, on to number one. In sync or Backstreet Boys. I'm not gonna lie, I was way into much of the Backstreet Boys growing up. This was before I even knew that I was not supposed to like the Backstreet Boys just because I'm a guy and that Backstreet Boys were, you know, not the thing to be liked when you're a guy. But fuck it, I like their music anyway. I listen to them now because they actually have good songs and like, one Direction and all the other bullshit that's going on nowadays. Instinct isn't bad either, but I listen more to Backstreet Boys back in my youth. I'm kind of ashamed of it, but not really. Cause they came out first and like when I first heard of them, I was in Luxembourg visiting my family and like my cousin had the Backstreet Boys CD and I listened to it and I'd be like, whoa, this is awesome. And she agreed. Then I went back to Canada got mocked for liking Backstreet Boys. How should I know? I was a very naive kid back in the day. <laughs> Number two, Britney or Christina? I would go with Britney Spears. I knew who Christina Aguilera was. I didn't really like her that much. Britney Spears was more known. I don't know, I just, liked her more because she was hotter but wait they're both hot so maybe it's because Christina Aguilera had that like innocent girl thing going on while Britney Spears did that she kind of did not at the same time because like look at her first video baby hit me one more time innocent but looking like a porn star schoolgirl. meanwhile you have Christina over there and Jeannie in a bottle looking all innocent and shit then Dirty came out and she totally changed herself I could say I go with more with Britney, even though all her uh, songs had the same exact beat to it. Go back and listen to all her songs. There's the same technical beat to each one. Number three, what was your favorite Nickelodeon cartoon? Yeah, cartoon of the 90s. Easy, Rocco's Modern Life. I love that show, it was out there. It was just out there. Now watching it as adults, I actually get the jokes, but god damn was that an out there show back in then. Tell me I'm not lying. Number four. What was your favorite Nickelodeon game show of the 90s? Honestly, I didn't watch any game shows from Nickelodeon back in the day. I saw little bits of Legends of the Hidden Temple here or there. I was not really into it, but the one game show I watched was a passion was from YTV, which was called Uh Oh. That was a messed up show. It was like this Kramer lookalike looking high as a motherfucker would be on the show, like be so energetic and just doing random shit. The games involved were just weird. <laughs> uh, am I the only one that remembers Uh Oh? Number five, which had better TV shows, Snick or TGIF? I barely watched Snick. I didn't know there was a Snick until I grew up. Even though I looked it up and I, there was some sh like one or two shows that I watched on Snick, but the most I ever watched was TGIF just because Boy Meets World. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, yes, I watched that show. Family Matters, Step by Step. Uh, Migo, <laughs> God, that was stupid. You Wish. Uh, all grown up, no, not all grown up. One, uh, fuck that one show where like real life siblings get to live together on our own. That one, and a bunch of other ones. I will watch TJF every Friday religiously. 
So that's the one I would watch the most. Oh yeah, speaking of uh oh, since we already passed that, but I'd like to get back onto it, is that it was on YTV back when YTV was actually awesome and they actually had storylines. Hey guys, remember Warren Chester Grog and how he took over YTV and made a whole epic series of it? Yes, he took over YTV and all the um, PJ Fresh Fills or just the P DJ. PJ or DJ, PJ Fresh Phil, P PJ or DJ, I don't know, it's been a while. The DJs, I'm gonna say, all banded together with the other Muppets. What else are you gonna call them? They're puppets slash Muppets. The YTV Muppets banded together to get back and warn Chester Grog from taking over the YTV, which he renamed WTV. Those were good times, very good times. Number six, how many Beanie Babies did you have and which were your favorites? I didn't have any Beanie Babies. I was never into Beanie Babies. I didn't care for Beanie Babies. I was not into the craze of Beanie Babies and people like collecting them so they can like get money out of it years later even though you got nothing out of it. Number seven. Like I said, I'm reading the shit off this. Number seven, did you own a virtual pet, Giga Pet, Tamagotchi, etc.? No, I haven't, but my cousin owned a Tamagotchi and I would just torture her all the fucking time. Like I would like kidnap the Tamagotchi and held it for ransom. She was like eight, so it was a big deal for her. And I was just a stupid kid back then. I'd be like holding the Tamagotchi saying like, you ain't gonna get it, you're not, you don't want it. And she would say like, no, he's hungry, he's gonna die. And I was just laughing my ass off. That was a dick move to do back then. Now that I look back on it. But no, I never had a Tamagotchi or a Gigapet. My cousin did, and like I said, I would just do that stupid shit. Number eight. What was your favorite video game system and your favorite game for it? Obviously, I would go for the original Nintendo, but I hardly played that. I only had like three games growing up. I had Super Mario 1 and 3, and Road Racer, no, scratch that, I had four games when I first started, which was Tiger Healy, Road Racer, Super Mario 1 and 3, and I let a friend of mine borrow the game Road Racer, and I never ever got it back. Friendship over, over one simple little thing. So I had remaining three left, which was Tiger Healy, which, God, I could not beat at all. Mario 1 and 3, best two games ever. But the best console I ever played, which I had more games, which not I owned, I played in other people's houses, Nintendo 64. And whenever I rented a Nintendo 64 from Blockbuster, yes, remember Blockbuster? Gather around kids, there was this one thing called Blockbuster back in the day where it's a building where they had videos and games and game systems all galore. You can go in there and just rent a couple of movies and a system or whatever you wanted for a certain number of days. If you brought them back late, you get fined. Yes, we did this back in the 90s. Yes, it's a no longer today, Blockbuster or Roger's video, but gather around kids, that's a story. So like I said, I rented Nintendo 64 from Blockbuster, rent the best game ever, No Mercy 64, and play the shit out of it. I would have WrestleMania at 2000, WWF Attitude, Golden Eye. Who doesn't, who didn't play GoldenEye back then? Oh my god, it was so fun. Just so much fun. Oh, of course, Mario was 64 and like Mario Kart 64. How can you forget that? Oh, Super Smash Brothers, I can go on and on and on. But yeah, that was my favorite game system. Number nine. What was the best Disney movie of the 90s? Um... 
that would be a tie for me. It would be Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin. Beauty and the Beast, because fuck, it's Beauty and the Beast and it has like good songs and shit. Be our guest. And the other shit that's going on in there, which I can't remember even though I said it has the best songs. Aladdin, come on, the genie, Robin Williams, not just because Robin Williams died. The genie was always awesome to begin with from day one. And number 10, which world event affected you the most in the 90s? I would say Clinton admitting that he finally had sex with Monica Lewinsky or got a blowjob from her. I don't really care that much about that, but the thing that affected me the most was the Columbine shootings because like before that there was no school shooting anywhere that I can think of. And when that happened, it opened up the world to the whole new level. And a whole new shit started going on. Columbine shooting was the most affected thing from the 90s because like it opened my eyes. What are your guys' answers to this? Take it easy guys, humanoid freak out, bye.